Kahui Maunga um, because uh, for the National War Memorial because Pukeahu is an ancient name and it's an ancient name that belonged to the Kahui Maunga tribes and Kahui Maunga were the confederation of tribes who saw their identity through the mountains, Tongariro, Taranaki and Rupete and all of those are uh, all related and it continues right up on into Ngāti Pro and Tūhoi and right across <coughs> all around the country. So it was important to make a very strong statement. So I did a woman with a cloak on, um, looking towards the unknown soldier to put her in that realm, that spiritual realm, okay? And uh, the whole thing was designed to be a woman called uh, Hinerangi, uh, the woman of the infinite sky, looking down on all the devastation of war, okay? That's not what they wanted. They wanted a soldier, <clears throat> but that's what they got because we had to make a tongue to finless statement, a strong tongue to finless statement. Okay. <coughs> so it's the same as this one here. <clears throat> when you think of ships, you think of navigation, you think of the sun and the moon and the stars. Okay, you think of the difference, a ship that goes to war, you think of the difference between the physical and the spiritual realm. Okay, when we think of all the people who serve on those ships, and they're right across the four corners of the world, both of Maridim and also of Pākehā, okay? So I could not ignore the seven canoes. I know there were much more canoes than that, but I had to acknowledge the seven canoes, okay? And the people who come from those seven canoes, okay? Because we talk about it there, and we talk about it beyond. Tumatoinga, I don't see as a god of war, Tumatoinga is that ceaseless energy that fights for survival, okay? That fights to protect, that fights for survival. So Tumba Toinga is here. Tangaroa is the sea, not the god of the sea. Tangaroa is the sea and all its beauty, all its danger, all its friendliness, the food it supplies us, and the pathway it helps us to journey across the ocean. <coughs> the moon, Mahilarangi, is a protector of women, okay? That's her, that's her role. And we have women serving on this, so I had to include Mahirana. Hinemoana is the daughter of Tangaroa, so Tangaroa is there with his daughter, okay? On the same thing. And then the whole thing continues on. I'll take it off now, so it's designed to be prepared like this. <coughs> No mai, hare mai, <coughs> te tohu o tono, te nei, taonga matau afie. Hare mai, hare a mai rā, ngā taonga o ngā titifiki e. It's made of, uh, of uh, treated pine, <coughs> so it includes um, Tamaro, Rungiwero, Awanuiarangi, Taranaki, and this is Raki Order, just been named, okay? There was a Tohunga on the, ah, the uh, Tokumaru. Okay, this is the figure there. Um, the name of the pole is Ngamotu. Okay. It's just been given that name. These are symbols of the seven canoes. So from the crown to the New Zealand flag, this is the emblem of command that goes on the captain's arm and the captain's uniform. Okay, to the seven canoes, to the seven warriors, to Matawinga, Mahinarangi, this is Manawainia, this is the strength of our woman, who are the mothers. all those people. Comes down here to the islands, Ngamotu and to Paritutu. There. And the little images there on Paritutu because the boy was once one of our past sites. Over here to Tangaroa. Okay, Tangaroa as the sea. I've deliberately put that as a protective thing around our, our sailors. So protecting our sailors, we come down here to Hinemoana. Through there, and then this from 
two mātauinga. Uh, here comes up to the seven warriors <coughs> who are from the canoes. Okay, so it's inclusive of all our people who serve on oh, in the nice. Navy itself. <coughs> Any questions? Yeah, could you just explain 